Hello, boys and girls. Today we have one final passage that we're going to read about cultural community characteristics. And this passage is about Juliet Gordon Lowe. And so after I finish reading this passage, you can go to Schoology to complete the practice that goes along with this. Juliet Gordon Lowe, founder of the Girl Scouts, is one of our nation's heroes. Born in Savannah, Georgia in 1860, Juliet was one of six children. As a child, she was very accident prone and battled many illnesses. By the time she was a young adult, she had experienced so many ear infections that she was partially deaf or unable to hear. Determined not to let injury or illness hinder or stop her, she traveled the world searching for a sense of purpose. When she met British General Sir Baden Powell, a war hero and founder of the Boy Scouts, she realized she had found it. After learning about Boy Scouts, Lowe wanted to give girls of all nationalities, income levels, and abilities the same self-esteem and skill-building opportunities that the Boy Scouts had. She organized the first Girl Scout troops in Scotland and London. These groups were so successful that she decided to bring the program back to the United States. On March 12, 1912, she registered the first troop of American Girl Guides in her hometown of Savannah, Georgia. The name Girl Guides was changed to Girl Scouts the following year and still operates under this name today. Juliet Lowe devoted or gave her life much of her own money and her talents for public relations and fundraising, collecting money for a cause, to push the Girl Scouts program to new heights. Through her organization, girls learn practical skills for the time such as how to, sp how to spin wool, take care of the farm and livestock, tie a knot, read a map, knit, cook, and administer first aid. Not only did Girl Scouts gain leadership skills and learn to be more self-sufficient, but they also learned the importance of community service and accepting others that were different from themselves. Since Juliet Lowe's death from cancer in 1927, the Girl Scouts organization has grown to 3.7 million members and operates in more than 145 countries throughout the world. The countless lives that have been touched through the Girl Scouts organization over the past 100 years is a shining example of how one person truly can change the world. There's a quote down there.